Welcome back to a new episode with Reverse Engineered. In this episode, we'll start the work on the bed of the truck, which is right behind me. But before you start watching, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get to work. We got the bed in the garage. It's a little bit snowy as it snowed here last night. Let's crank up the heat, boys, melt some of the snow off, and let's get to work. our latest acquisition that we have just purchased a couple of days ago think of it as a christmas present for us first off we're gonna have to start removing the quarter panel in order for us to start working on the inner fender liner to make a way to actually attach to the body of the car and to hold on to this quarter panel from the inside So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some relief cuts basically. So this doesn't happen, it, it tore right there. When we try to see what happens, we're gonna make cuts, straighten it out so we bring it out as much as possible to meet up with this piece further out because stock is like this and then it leaves a big gap in between the quarter panel and this piece and we can't meet it up. So we're gonna do that, bring it out a little bit this would be with the quarter panel easier so we can attach it and then it'll be sturdy. This is a rough measurement of whatever we, we have to cut. As you can see, the lip is sticking out. What we have to do is chop it here and bend it like that. That way we're gonna secure it to the actual panel. So here is an update on what we did on the wheel well. Moving on close to the area. This is the final piece almost. It came out pretty good. Pretty happy with the product. As you can see, we wanted to move it a little bit outward. That way, this part of the wheel well will actually touch the inside of the quarter panel. And from inside here, you can see that we bent the wheel way a little bit that way, like that. And then what we have to do is uh, apply some rivets and secure it to the wheel. As you can see here as well, we moved it outward. That way we have enough space for us to reach the, the quarter panel. That's why you see what you see here. We just finished the work on the wheel well. Now we're gonna start working on the other side, pretty much do exactly the same thing that we did here.
the wheel well is in we still have to install these sides here from the wheel well one goes here on this side and another one goes over here on that side we'll install that once we get it but now we have to make sure that the quarter panel is sitting where it's supposed to be sitting and now we are going to fasten it in place and make sure it never moves here is that rivet tool that we are going to be using to install rivets on the quarter side So we are taking this quarter panel off again because it's a lot easier. We have more access on this wheel well from above if we take this off. So let's take this off and put those rivets in. He's marking it so we know where it goes once we put it in without the quarter panel. Honestly thought John this would be a lot harder to get done the wheel well but it actually it's actually a lot easier. Yeah. We're actually using the OEM uh, wheel well. Yeah. Not for the Raptor. It's the Raptor ones are about 300 bucks. They're a lot more and different yes and these ones are from the regular bed from F the F-150. Yeah. This one costs what? 60 bucks. It's pretty cheap you man. Do the math. <laughs> How much were the Raptor ones? 200 each? I think so, right? 250. $250 over, on the wheel wells for the for the Raptor style. Uh, Pretty expensive. Uh, Hold on, let me grab it from here. Ta-da! It's placed in the bed. Okay, so here's a closer look on how this wheel well looks. We had to chop this off here, give it a couple of cuts so it doesn't break once we bent it. It was nice sitting at a 90 degree angle and we made it sit, uh, we made it sit flat or 180 degrees. And also we had to chop this wheel well here just a little bit so we can bend this lip up just a little bit more so it fits under the quarter panel itself. But with that we are good and now we can start drilling holes here and uh, put those rivets in. Okay John, hit it man, hit it hard. Well not that hard, just enough to sit there and not fall off. <laughs> These are the rivets that we are using, they're the, a quarter of an inch by half inch. Said we got them from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. So John right now he's already starting to install the first one just so that we can keep this uh, shield in place and it doesn't move so we can drill the holes a lot easier that way. Okay, you ready? I'm excited. Hmm? Oh snap man it collapsed there you go. That's looking pretty. Oh yeah baby. Yep. Yeah. It's all tight now. So we are not actually going to drill every single piece here. So we'll have that one over there, another one maybe here, and another one over there by the bottom. And the same thing, we'll kind of symmetrically split them on both sides. So this wheel well is done. We installed one, two, three, four, five, six rivets. And so right now we are about to spray some epoxy primer and then apply some seam sealer so we don't have any water coming in uh, on this side of the quarter panel and we are good. Sealed. As you can see, we try to cover all the spots all the way around. That way, no water will come from this side or this side, which so, it's pretty much protected. There's no rust. We also applied a seam sealer and the self etching primer yeah. where we had bare metal. And now we are ready to start installing the coro panel. We are back. It's the next day here. 
the seam sealer has fully cured now we are ready to start installing the quarter panel onto the bed and secure it boys let's get it done john go and grab the other end daniel grab this other end so right now we are going to install it and uh i guess draw some uh, marks on the quarter panel itself to know where to draw the holes for the rivets mainly here on this bracket so we're gonna draw from behind because it already has pre-made holes from the bed and uh, same here on john's side we already have marked the quarter panel where we are gonna drill the holes now we're gonna take it off and make sure everything works properly and fits nicely in the right spot here is where we marked the holes while the quarter panel was on the bed and now we are ready to start drilling and get it done I honestly thought it would be a lot harder to fasten the quarter panel onto the bed, but it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. So we got this bracket down. Now we got to take the gate off so we can work here on this side. This back corner of the quarter panel is done and is looking pretty. Although we missed here, we made a mistake and uh, made a hole that wasn't supposed to be there. We'll get that covered with Bondo and it, it'll never be seen again. And there it is on the bottom, looking good. So now we have to move on the front section and uh, also over there, there and there, and on the wheel well and the front, get that done now. Okay, so now we're going to fasten this piece here at the bottom and once we get that done we can work up and get the rest of them down. The first hole that we did here is the guide hole. Now we're drilling with the actual size of the rivet. Now we have to install those side pieces for the wheel well. It's one on that side on the other side. Did it fit good? How's it fit, man? Pretty good? All right. So put it there. Let's rivet that into place as well. And let's finish this saw. This is looking good or what? We're almost done with this side. We're still working here on these sides for the wheel well. We're actually not going to install the uh, rivets here on this side because they are super visible from up here and uh, from the side of the truck. And so what we are going to be doing is 
put bonding glue in between that panel and the coro panel and that's going to make it look a lot more nicer we're only going to install rivets here on the upper arch where it's not visible when standing up but we're almost done guys and uh, now we are actually going to be starting we're going to start working on the other side of the quarter panel and i gotta be honest that's gonna be a lot easier because once you do it once and when you do it the second time it becomes 10 times more easier and so with that let's finish this side here where john's at and then we'll jump on the other quarter panel goes the last rivet that we are installing here on this wheel well get it done and over with john there you go you hold you heard the pop that's it and with that we are going to call it tonight we're still waiting on this piece that goes right there it's uh it should be here in a, maybe tomorrow i don't know or the day the, the day after it's, it's taking shape man it looks amazing come on bro no <laughs> tomorrow all right, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. with this wheel well it's finally secure it's not gonna go anywhere it's super strong it doesn't have any movement to it we are done with the passenger side now let's move to the driver's side and get that side done so we installed the quarter panel tail light to see how it looks oh man it looks pretty darn good Ooh. look at how much width we've gained over there on the quarter panel Oh man, does it look nice or what? It's finally starting to look like a raptor. Oh yeah. Mine is the headlight, the, the taillight. <laughs> it's looking nice, man. All right, so take it off, Daniel, and tighten that bolt. Okay, enough of distractions. Let's go and finish that side. But before we do that, guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when we'll post up our next video. So here for this quarter panel, we initially did not want to cut off this bracket, but because the stale light isn't sliding in all the way due to this bracket being in the way, we have a one eighth gap and this, the, the tail light isn't aligning with this side of the uh, quarter panel. And so we have to chop this off and this is just going to slide into a perfect position and we don't have, we're not going to have this error right here. So we cut the bracket off. Now let's fit the tail light and see how it sits.
We are also going to be covering this hose with Bondo where the, some old marker lamps used to go in here. We'll cover those up because we don't have any wiring for them. Finished circling all the imperfections. Now it's time for us to get uh, bonding, sanding, and prepping the surface for what comes next, which is Raptor. <laughs> Raptor. So here's how we're doing things. John is working on the driver quarter side. Daniel is working on the passenger quarter side to get things done faster and more efficiently. We have just finished sanding all the bundle work. It came out pretty smooth. It's looking good. We have also finished reconstructing this corner here. If you remember, it was a little bit slanted like that. Reconstructed it, sanded it down. Looking pretty nice as well. Also covered the holes here for some uh, side marks. We didn't need those and uh, we covered them. Here on the, past on the driver quarter panel, we, didn't, we did not have that many areas to sand so we only had that one and another one right there that's about it all the gaps look pretty nice we still have to work with some of them but mostly everything coming out nice There you guys have it, the bed is finally finished. I am astonished and surprised by the way it came out. The fiberglass actually fit really nice where it needed to fit. See you guys next time, but before we leave, make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on your post notifications so you will not miss on any video that will come out next. And stay tuned for whatever comes next and keep on watching see you guys next time